Well, hello, and welcome to this week's midweek message. And I want to dedicate this message particularly to my godfather, my godfather, Richard Satchel, uh, who died a few years ago, who has been very influential in my life. And he is a man who understood the meaning of our God is always faithful to his promises. So with great joy and privilege, I address you as your new team vicar. Who would have ever thought it? But here I am. You're going to have to put up with the loud shirts for a long time yet. I feel as if I need to invest in a few more just to keep you fully entertained. Anyway, so the day of my licensing, which was this Tuesday, I had found out from the BBC app a few weeks earlier that that night, the night of the 14th going into the 15th, 15th being the day of my licensing, was the night where there was the best chance of seeing meteor showers this whole year. So I was up at 4.30 in the morning on the 15th standing looking out into the just about clear enough skies because the clouds had parted by then to see if I could see any meteors and sure enough I saw a few looking like stars falling from the sky and as I uh, wanted to prepare myself as best I possibly could for my licensing I also decided that later on that morning I would go for a walk and it actually turned out to be quite a long walk because I wanted to try and walk pretty much around uh, the area of responsibility that I have been given uh, as being the team vicar, some of the churches that I have oversight for. And I wanted to walk and to pray and to reflect and to listen to God in preparation for my licensing. So I walked, I left my house, I walked up over Koenigge Hill, uh, which is very close to where I live. And I walked over Koenigge Hill and could see Whitchurch and I prayed for Whitchurch and I thought of all the people who go to that church and of the lovely village. And I made my way down to Charmouth, which is Chris's responsibility, but obviously I have a great love of Charmouth. The sea, the church, the people, wonderful, wonderful. And I walked down uh, along the coast path there, uh, up onto Stone Barrow and connected with uh, St. Gabriel's and thought about St. Gabriel's and that beautiful little church there and the lovely people who go there. And as I walked across the uh, stone barrow there I could see Wooten and I thought of Sue and John and everyone who goes there uh, what a wonderful church that is and the wonderful village of Wooten I lifted everybody in prayer Catherston I also thought of you because of course I could see you very easily and always in the distance thinking of fish pond and the beautiful church there just on the ridge looking out towards the sea and it was a great joy to do that walk. And as I walked, you may remember, it was a mixture of sunshine and showers. And my word, did I see hundreds, it felt like hundreds of rainbows. And I filled my whole phone with their photographs, shining down on the veil, touching the ground. I have a particularly beautiful one of the rainbow touching just where the Pilsden community is and I must send it to Sue. It was inspirational. God fed me spirit, soul, physically, emotionally and mentally. And I was reminded through looking at the rainbows, uh, particularly of a wonderful short and sweet that Roz and I did together, where we talked about rainbows and we talked about the story of Noah. 
And the story of Noah is particularly important to me because there's a little bit in that Bible passage where the rainbow is placed in the sky and God gives a promise that he will never send rain like that again on the earth. And it talks about how God will always be faithful to his promises. And as I looked at those rainbows, I was reminded of that, particularly in relation to my licensing. Because that was a, a Bible passage that was given to me many years ago when I was wrestling with the ongoing question of God's call and what should I do next. And God said to me very clearly that he, he was always faithful to his promises. It's been such an important verse for me that I have it actually embroidered or stuck in felt, you may see next time, on my white celebration stole, which my sisters made for me when I was ordained a priest. The Lord is always faithful to all his promises. And when I was looking at the stars, I was again reminded of the story of Abraham. Abraham, a man who also knew a lot about our Lord being faithful to his promises. Abraham, who we hear very evocatively in Paul's letters, was well past it, and his wife, who was barren. And yet God, when he spoke to him when he was looking at the stars, said, whispered in his heart and said, this many, Abraham, this many, your offspring will be this many, unbelievable for a man who was childless. And yet our Lord was faithful to that promise. And even though Abraham only saw the first few steps of that in his lifetime, we know that that promise has been fulfilled and his nation and those who are associated with his nation, like us, are more than the stars in the sky, more than the sand on the shore. And so my friends today, I want to really encourage us, encourage us that our Lord is always, always faithful to his promises. And my friends, if there is something that is on your heart that you believe is a promise from God that you haven't yet seen fulfilled, I want to encourage you today to ask again, to lift that promise to God and ask him to give you the eyes and the heart to see where it is being fulfilled in your life. And for those of us who have seen some fulfillment of God's promises, I want to encourage us today to be thankful, to thank God for what he has done in our lives. And that's my prayer for today. Lord God, we thank you. We thank you that you are always faithful to your promises. And I pray for each and every one of us where there is heartache and a sense of lack of fulfillment. Lord, I pray that by the, your grace and mercy and through the power and might of your Holy Spirit, that Lord, you will meet us in that question. And I pray for each of us who are thankful that we have seen promises fulfilled. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will strengthen our faith through that. And I ask this in your name, Jesus. Amen. I send you a big kiss.
God bless. Bye-bye.